Hello everyone, this is Gary Tonicourt from MoreThanASnapshot.com. Today I want to talk to you about the new update to Flex 1.1. This is just a dot update, so if you have Flex, you can update it for free. If not, I'll put a link in the description and you can check out Flex for yourself. It will be an affiliate link, but it will offer you a discount coupon. Just type in the word snapshot and you'll get an additional discount off of the sale price, which I believe they have running until July 29th. So let's just jump right into it and see what's new. First of all, Flex is a plugin. So I'm gonna to wanna to use another program like Lightroom or Photoshop or even Mac Photos or even Photoshop uh, Elements to be my main program. In this case, I have Lightroom Classic and I'm going to right click on a photo. I'm using a PC. And so I'm going to export to Luminar Flex. And I'll even edit a copy with Lightroom Adjustments. So it's going to build the file, send it out to Flex. And then we'll be able to see what's new in Flex. So here we go, it's loading. One of the first things you may notice is the filters catalog loads automatically. It's, it's ready for you to select whatever filter you want to use. If you don't want that in your way, you can just click the X and it will go away. And if you ever need it back, you just click Add Filters and here it is, it's back again. Okay. They, of course, made performance increases, so we'll have to see as we go if it seems to be running uh, well. But the old Flex was pretty snappy, so I don't think we'll have an issue with that. The major improvement is the uh, update to the Accent AI filter. It had the Accent AI filter before, but now you can see this is version 2. And this filter uses uh, machine learning to automatically try to figure out what needs to be done to your photo just by sliding one slider. And here you can see it's having a pretty dramatic change before and after in this photo. So it is a pretty cool filter. You don't have to go all the way to 100%, but that's what it does. And then of course, if you're using the Image Aware uh, workspace, it'll pick other filters that it thinks would be useful for this photo. Now of course, the real power of Flex is that you have Luminar looks, and they said they've made improvements to looks. You have a whole bunch of different categories of looks, and in this case, I've chosen landscape because this is a landscape photo. And then you can see all of them down here and you can click each one to see their effect. And if you think it's you know, too strong of an effect, you can reduce the effect right on that slider. All right, since there is autumn colors here, I'm gonna try the autumn colors one and I might even compare it to this one. I like the autumn colors one better. And then of course, after you've selected a filter, you can always come over to the tools that it's chosen on the side and you can make further adjustments. Um, in this case, I'm gonna take the saturation down just a tiny bit. And I think that looks good. Literally two clicks and I have a photo that I think works. I might spend a little more time on it if I was uh, really uh, making this photo but I think it did a pretty good job pretty much automatically all right the other thing is um, if you come up to file they have a link here for show workspaces and for show luminar looks folder the reason this is important is because it makes it a little bit easier to install the looks in the workspaces. So if you download looks or workspaces from Luminar, if you click on this, it'll automatically open up the folder where they are located in your computer and you can just paste them in this folder. And the next time you load or uh, relaunch uh, Flex, your new looks should be there or your new workspaces. And here you can see that I have added some of the workspaces that are on um, Luminar's website. So in conclusion, it's a nice little update to Flex version 1.1 and I think you should check it out. Again, remember the link will be in the description and don't forget to use the coupon code SNAPSHOT.
Again, this has been Gary D. Tonicourt from morethanasnapshot.com.